Hi, it's Liam Quinn here from the Chagas office in Westport and I'm joined with future beef participant Cahal Irwin and he, we're going to give an update on the farm. So Cahal, what type of system are you running here? Um, here we have a small farm, as was a typical West of Ireland Mayo farm. Um, we've just 18 hectares, 18, 19 hectares. Uh, we've a typical sort of farm, you know, around the 20 cow mark. Some years it goes up, some years it goes down. Uh, we have at the moment, we've been running the last few years a suckler to store uh, system. Selling uh, it? Selling it around, I suppose, around 20 months of age. Trying to get as much weight on at grass. Uh, I tend to calf them early in uh, December, January. So what we're trying to do is really get, a, what I'm trying to do is get a, a calf at five, five months hitting grass in April and it'll do something with the grass. So it has sort of two summers at grass and just really trying to get as much weight gain at that grass period as possible, especially in the second year. That's perfect. And what is the grass situation like on the farm at the moment? Um, the grass, the grass is good now at the moment, I suppose. We've, we've been lucky here in the West. We've, we always get a, a nice drop of rain. So um, it's, my farm cover at the moment, I think is around 888. Um, look, I had a I had a tough April and May to be honest with you. I ate the farm down too low. I suppose I went out early with everything around St Paddy's Day, and um, I ate the farm too low. I think I dropped it down to around three sixty, and I found it quite hard to get back up to let's say uh, past the tipping point where we could actually start to grow grass again. I was it was always sort of ahead of me. I just wasn't growing enough grass, so. You know, again, it just was just the advice I've got from the the other Chagas advisors, and they were telling me, look, how to try and rectify it and get it back in control. And we've done that there. Let's say the start of May or middle of May, and we're back in control now. With grass are somewhat in control again. <laughs> so slow down the rotation and back on track again. Yeah, slow down the rotation exactly. Yeah. Uh, how has breeding gone so far? Um, this year, funny enough, has been a little bit slower than other years. Uh, like I was, other years I was typically, I suppose. I was able to do everything in six weeks. This year hasn't been as good. Um, I found, let's say, maiden heifers bringing them in quite hard to get in calf. Um, I found a lot of repeats with the maiden heifers um, with AI. So in the end, I just brought in a bull, to be honest with you, um, to just to just to get them in calf because they, they were they were slipping a lot further out than I typically would have liked. Um, I brought a new um, terminal Charlie bull in as well, and you know, typically I would have been let's I let let the bull in around the middle of February in on, in on the slats and he'd be getting them on the slats as they're, as they're coming but I suppose he just didn't really settle in it was all a bit new for him and maybe hadn't the confidence on the slats so um, it, 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 it pushed out a little bit again perfect and um, what kind of measures have you on the farm here we'll say for improving work-life balance and that type of thing you were saying that it's an area that you yeah it is I suppose look like any suppose part-time farmer um, it's always a challenge, you know, sometimes you're working two jobs and, you know, uh, you know, it's uh, sometimes can, it takes too much family time. I'm, I suppose the changes that I'm making personally, I'm trying to see outsource as much work as I can to contractors. Look, I have a very good contractor who works with me here and I try and outsource as much work to him as possible. Um, also, I suppose if other plants, let's say, put up another shed to make life easy and especially in the winter time, um, I, you know, I, I really try and... I noticed you have the paddocks numbered and signed to yeah. make things easier for when the contractor when he comes. Yeah, so like I can tell him go to paddock 2A or 2B or whatever. Yeah. And uh, you know, that sort of, it just makes sense for me, it works for me. It's a small farm, it's not, it's not hard to cut it up. Yeah, great. And can you talk to us a little bit about the plans you have for the future, Cahill, while being in the programme? I suppose, look, um, for me, one of the reasons, like I found the programme very, very beneficial for me, and I suppose one of the main reasons I want to, even though it's a small farm, it still has to be a profitable farm. I don't care. It has to be profitable. And it's not about pushing the farm to the limits, it's about optimising for me. I suppose, you know, my future plans really is to try and go to finish, uh, go to under 16 month bull. I know it's not always, uh, uh, people might say it's not always a good option. Um, but I'd like to try and, I, I want to try and get to a stage where I'm finishing everything. You know, like uh, being a suckler farmer, you put an awful lot of work into, let's say, your breeding, you're selecting your breeding, your animals, getting them in calf, getting a live calf on the ground. And I always sort of just, I'd like to just take, you know, be, be rewarded for that last little bit at, at the finish line, really. And you say under 16, under 16 months for the bulls, but what age would you be aiming to finish the heifers at? I think we could do, do the heifers, you know, before the second winter. You know, I, I think 20, 19, 20 months, no problem off grass. I, I really do. Okay. And if, you know, if we had to go to, a, I think, a shed for a while, just for that last push, maybe. 
Um, but I, I, I don't see I don't I don't see any reason we can't finish them off grass. Okay. That's great. Listen, Carl, thanks very much for the update and we'll talk to you again. Thank you.